Shout out to Emma for that awesome animation at the beginning. Thank you so much, Emma, for sending that in. Don't forget, you can still always send it in and maybe we can use it at the beginning of one of our next videos. Okay, sounds good. So this week we're gonna do something really cool. We're gonna learn about an artist and you're like, uh, I don't know if I wanna do that. This guy is amazing. He's a pop culture artist and you're gonna love his work. So we're gonna make a really cool cityscape. I'm gonna have a somewhat complete on mine and then I'm gonna show you what we're gonna do next. So we're gonna learn a little bit about the artist first and then get creative. Sounds good, see you soon. Our artist is Mars Jr. He is a pop culture artist and a cityscape artist. So we're looking right now at different buildings. If you notice, he likes bright backgrounds that are just one color with um, just a black and white. So that's what we're going to look at. We're looking at all kinds of different buildings and see if you guys recognize any of them. We have the Roosevelt Hotel. Um, this one's kind of going to be easy. Next one is the is wall street um if you notice again you have the bright colors in the background are just that one color in black and white he real if you notice also if they're not technical they just have great details i love the domino sugar one with the color combination and he likes the same colors over and over again if you notice he's also into pop culture um he loves to do star wars illustrations in different ways this is kind of a normal one but the next one might be a little different than what you are used to yep that is george washington as a stormtrooper he is very creative he actually works for marvel and has his own animated series there's an at at or an at at i don't know exactly which one it you're supposed to say I looked online there's a lot of debate of course Chewbacca would want some tea he combines pulp culture with real illustrations and get a RT R2D2 you're welcome for that I messed up a little bit okay so now here is he also likes sports especially from the 1970s and 80s way to see if you can guess this one it's the Sixers number six that is Julius Irving our Dr. J and of course, Daryl Strawberry. I thought a lot of you guys would love to see him because you guys are great baseball players. Um, this is from E.T., which is one of my favorite movies from the 1980s. And he just uses, again, same colors. And he does illustrations. I love this dog as a king. It's amazing. And he does a lot of historical pictures, too. We have Queen Mary and the space shuttle blasting off. Again, same colors. Okay, let's go back and let's talk about how we're going to do our project. Now it's a very special time to talk about art mediums and materials. So you're going to need a blank piece of paper. Um, if you have a colored piece of paper, that would be amazing. If not, I'll tell you a hack later on what we can do with that. So you have a colored piece of paper and a white piece of paper. Then you're going to need a black pen or marker of some sort. My preference, of course, is a Sharpie, but if you're not allowed to use one, or if you don't have one at home, a washable marker will be perfect. And if you like fine lines, you can find a skinny one would be great. Next we need a pair of scissors. Any kind of scissors will do, I trust y'all. And something to glue down with. I have a plain old glue stick, but if you have glue or tape or whatever you need to do. Okay, so first things we're going to talk about is you get your blank piece of paper and your thing to draw with which would be hopefully a Sharpie or a black marker of some sort. So I'm going to get it. Again, always have something to bear down underneath. We do not want to mess up your beautiful kitchen tables or wherever you're doing your work. I love to know where your art space is. Mine's a little crooked. And if we looked at Mars Jr.'s work, he's not a realistic art artist. Um, he doesn't focus on making them look too realistic, but it does always looks like what he's trying to draw. He's into lines. Lines is an element of art. So we're gonna do a lot of lines and drawing. So I just did a simple skyscraper. And what I want you guys to do is do some research. You can find your favorite building. Um, I had people last year who did the White House, who did um, the State House, um, did where his parents worked was one. And then I also had people did like the Statue of Liberty or the Hollywood sign because they wanted to move to Hollywood. Anything that would be exciting to you um, and you could create. Do your research, find a picture that you can be inspired by and come back to me. Okay, so you do a straight kind of, he doesn't use a ruler, so I did not use a ruler. So that's mine. Mine's a little wonky. It's a leaning, but that's okay. If you want to use a ruler, go for it. All I am is making sure I'm just doing black and white first. 
and I'm adding all my windows and all of my details. They don't have to be perfect, but you do want to color in all your windows just because if you had like three windows, that would be the most boring skyscraper in the world. And again, it doesn't have to be a skyscraper. It can be like a Statue of Liberty, something that inspires you. Somebody did their house too. That's kind of cool. And then they imagined it in a different kind of way, which I liked. Okay, so another thing about Mars Jr. that's pretty neat is that he actually went to school in Savannah, which is not too far from us. And... Everyone always wants to answer this question. Yes, he is still alive. And he's kind of awesome. You can go and Google some more of his work. I really enjoy it. Um, and you can maybe even order a print if you liked something. I love that George Washington is a stormtrooper. I don't know why. I just feel like George Washington is a stormtrooper. It's kind of awesome. Okay, so again, filling in and doing my best work. Even if it's not realistic and perfect, that does not mean you need to do sloppy work. You still need to fill in. I just thought you didn't want to have to watch me fill in 250 billion windows. I could fast forward things, but you know, I like to talk to y'all. Okay, so say this is done. My next step would be to cut out. So you guys go and finish up, finish drawing, picking out what you want, have a great inspiration, and let's see what you can do. Next, we use the good old scissors and cut it out. Um, you want to make sure that you cut on your line. You don't want to cut your line out all the way. I'm cutting beside my line because I like, if you noticed, what did he do? He made sure he had bold lines. If we think about it, we've actually studied a lot of artists this year that love bold lines. And see if you can remember on bonus points if you can. If you send it to me, maybe on Seesaw, um, you will get some great art points in life if you can remember two of our artists that we have studied who love lines. Okay, so I'm just cutting out and we'll get back to it. Okay, we cut it out. So now you're ready to glue down. Obviously you glue it. You would not glue it, of course, in the air, but you can pick where you want it. Um, if you do not have that colored piece of paper like we talked about, um, what you can do is take a picture of your art like we learned how to do in our animation class last week and you can use just do a background in one of the art um, drawing apps that would just be perfect so you can just do a background in there or you can draw of course a colored background but it needs to be solid if you noticed Mars only used what solid backgrounds okay so I'm gonna put this guy in the corner now here comes another part. So we looked at his artwork. A lot of times he had one in the white and then he had one just drawn on the solid piece. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna do a quick, maybe a couple building. I'm gonna do maybe a little building right here. And I can do a little roof. And a shadow that comes down. Okay, and then I'm gonna actually color the shadow in. Guys, I don't know what my computer's saying. It's probably said, hey, you make too many videos. Also, I want you guys to know, you guys can always do any of the other art projects that you see. Um, just because I know you guys can do it. Maybe I want a smokestack on the top of it. Kind of cool coming out. Um, now I'm just going to start adding the windows. I'm doing this faster just because. And we're going to actually fast forward this. Y'all, fast forwarding is the best. Look how fast I work. I would never have worked this fast. I am adding a banner, you'll see in a second, across my New York skyline, like maybe an airplane's pulling it. You can always add some details like that. And I am, of course, going to sign my name in the corner. Okay, guys, we just finished our Mars Junior inspired artwork. I cannot wait to see what you do. Remember, it can be anything that you're inspired by. Look at his artwork, um, do some research, and see what you can do. Surprise me. I want to see something awesome. Um, thanks for the people who are sending things in. I am loving it. I wanted to tell you one quick thing. I know usually in art, when we talk at the beginning and we talk about what we're going to do, I might do a demonstration, and then I let you go and work, and I walk around, and I can help you. Well, sadly, 
like can't come to your house and help you. But I can do something. If you're having struggling with something, I know the color bowl was really hard. So props to Nikki for rocking it. Um, come and ask me. That means come and ask me on sea salt. Or we can Google Meet and maybe we can work on something and figure out why we're struggling with it. Or if you just want to tell me something cool or if you have an idea even. If you have an idea that you want to do an art, send them to me. We can make a video of it. Also, your animation, I really want to be able to put them in all our videos. So I think people are going to be like blown away by your amazing, amazing artistic talent. So send it. So don't forget to subscribe, like it. Um, send stuff to me in the art page on Seesaw. If parents can email me, that's fine too. And if you want to Google me or if you need a little bit of help, I got you, okay? Let's work together. Okay, see you soon. Don't forget to do the challenge.